afternoon guys. This is one of the technical um, benches we have at Tune to Race where one of our technical staff work. As you can see it's been a bit of a busy week so we didn't clean up anything but we just want to show you what you will require should you do EC removal jobs. Now the first thing is we have a, we have a hammer. This is basically we will use it if you open up the lid of the ECU sometimes they tend to bend a bit so we, this is nice for just um, straightening up the lid again. Then we have our silicone. This is to seal the ECU again. So as you'll see, you have a, a silicone line here when you open the ECU. Now it's very important to seal the, the ECU up again and we use this Bostic car and it's, it, it just uh, it protects the ECU from water damage. So if you don't seal it up properly, you'll end up getting water damage on the ECU, which is obviously a very, a very bad, um, you, don't, you don't want water damage. Then we just have a normal drill for opening up the ECU, we'll find one that's closed and we'll open it up a bit later and we'll show you how, how the opening up process works. Next we have a, a reverse ply. This is, must be one of your most important tools that you'll end up using. As you'll see the silicone seals the, the ECU lid quite tight and it's sometimes very really difficult to open up the ECU. Now this reverse ply, you can actually, um, once you have the reverse ply open, you can open up the ECU. Now what most guys do is they try and use a screwdriver instead of the reverse plies and what happens is they stick, your, they stick the screwdriver in and they slip and they end up taking off a lot of, part of parts of your board and once that's done you have very little chance of fixing up the ECU and they are very expensive. You're looking at about maybe between 1,500 and 2,000 pounds um, depending on, on what car you're working on. So you really don't want to mess up one of the ECUs. Okay, so we also have a soldering machine. It's, it's very important to get a nice soldering machine because you will be using it a lot. So um, we have a very nice one here. You can switch it on, it goes up quickly. Um, the guys will be able to advise you which points they prefer to use when working on the board because you will, we will end up soldering close to the board. We also have this magnifying light which is quite nice if you want to check your board that there's no shorts on the board before proceeding to reading and writing. The, your most important um, thing is you don't want to create shorts. As soon as you create the shorts on the board, the board shorts out and you end up having to replace the ECU. So you want to stay away from that.